Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed five minute podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. It is a real honor and pleasure to have you here with me today. And I am so excited that you are joining me this week. If you are new to the podcast, you have joined us today on day three of the Creatives Entertainers Prayer Series. And it is filled with declarations and scriptures to help bless and encourage and to be in prayer for different occupations that are unique to entertainment and creative fields. So just to give you a little background, we started off with day one, which was actors, filmmakers, producers, radio, TV hosts, and comedians, and anyone in said fields. So even if I did not say your uh, particular occupation, you can be anybody in the background as well. You can do anything from work for craft services, be a PA, um, be an assistant, uh, a key grip, you can be all of these, whatever it is. As long as you are affiliated with any of these things, these prayers, these series are for you because it is catering to those, even those in the background, especially those in the background who are often overlooked and you have a unique ability to bless the masses so that others may go into the front and also live their authentic purpose as well. Day two, we talked about stylists, designers, models, photographers, and choreographers. And again, Anyone in the background, dancers, assistants, whoever, you know, is needed for these types of occupations to excel. We are also praying for and covering you too. Now, before I get to day three, if you have not already, I want you to pause this and I want you to hit the link below and I want you to download your free copy of the ebook that goes with this series. And it's important that you get this particular ebook because unlike the last one, the last ebook was just prayers written out. But this ebook has declarations for each occupation and it also has scriptures. I'm not saying the scriptures in the podcast just for time reasons. And I like to focus more on the declarations and the prayer aspect. And then just a brief explanation and some verbal encouragement for each of the occupations listed. So you would have to go and download the ebook in order to get the specific scriptures that God had given me that cater specifically to those occupations. And it's always good to have that y'all. Cause you always know whatever God says, it will never turn back void. So you always want to stand on his word more than anybody's opinion or anything else. You always want to stand on the word of God when you are seeking to live your authentic purpose. So again, I'm thankful that you are here today and we're going to jump right in. Today is day three and day three is really, really, really dope because these are the people that I literally have no idea how they do what they do. And these are the people that get my money because I legit have no idea how to do any of these things uh, in excellence. That's why I thank God and I bless God. For the people today, and this is cosmetologists, hairstylists, barbers, makeup artists, and masseuses. And I have actually used each and every one of this. Then when I had a short haircut, I went to the barber to get my line up and all of this stuff. And of course, a hairstylist, um, makeup artist, masseuse who gives you those great massage, massages at the spa. And cosmetologists who also help to focus on skin care and developing aesthetics. So just jumping right in, you know... Um, so many times we we see, you know, and I see this a lot with people where uh, maybe a young girl or something may have a desire to do hair or, um, you know, a young man may want to be a barber or something. And, you know, sometimes they can be faced with some judgment or adversity because people typically look upon certain careers as if it's not a sustainable career. And again, I believe that's why God has called me, raised me up in this season to pray and to, to, you know, to really cover those who are really stepping out on faith because these type of creative fields, you know, is you, you get your cosmetology, cosmetology license, sure, but you have to build up your clientele. You know, you have to pay booth rental. You have to do things that are very costly. And oftentimes you have to put out way more 
than what you get back when you start. And I don't think people understand that. Another thing that I see oftentimes many in the profession struggle with and in all of these professions is putting a price on your worth and putting a price on what you do. So a part of this prayer series is just to begin to give you some great encouragement collectively that if you know God has given you the gift to use your hands, okay? Sidebar, the scriptures for today are all about your hands and how God can use you in your hands for his glory, okay? So it's really important that you get that book, that ebook, so that you can make sure you have those to add to your repertoire of scriptures as well. But I really want you to understand something, guys. Here's the thing. If you know God called you to do this, then you have to do it and you have to work toward it and you cannot think about what other people are saying. I have seen people with phenomenal careers and I can, I can tell you for sure for hairstyling, phenomenal, top of the line, one of the best in the game, traveling all over the place, winning competitions, making tons and tons and tons of money. And then a family member might say, oh, why are you doing that? You don't want to go to school and get do something real? And yo, that's just so disrespectful. That's just mad disrespectful because that person may be book smart and that person may be real deep into what they're doing. And the person doing hair or whatever, they may be book smart too, but that may not be where God called them. He may call them to be in that arena because they're going to be changing lives from just doing hair or what appears to be quote unquote, just doing hair is never just, it's never just getting a haircut. It's never just putting on makeup. It's never just using your cosmetology skill set. It's never just giving a massage because this is what people fail to realize who are not in the position of these amazing creatives is this. Oftentimes they are the counselors for us. They're the encouragers for us. They're the listening ears for us. They are the confidence builders for us. Now, my ladies listening, y'all know what it's like when you get that new cut. Oh my God. Or you get that new hairstyle and your hair is whipped and slayed and sprayed in a whole nine. And you just walk out that thing feeling like a million bucks you could have on a garbage bag. And you literally going to think you're the coldest thing in the room. That is the power that getting your hair done can do. You can be sad. You can de be depressed. And man, you can get out that chair and say, oh my God, like this, this just totally changed the game for me. And then you start to spruce yourself up. You go get your hair done. And guess what? You might go right across the hall and say, you know what? Let me go ahead and get my face beat too. And that's why our makeup girls come in. And then it just turns into this experience. It turns into this game changing experience. And I think people just, they just take it for granted and they just assume you know, it's just, oh, you know, they just do this or they just do that. Super disrespectful, y'all. So that's why I'm here to say what you do is of honor. It is greatly respected. And you get us together for some of the greatest things in our lives. Graduations, weddings, um, our, our, uh, our birthday parties, um, events that we have to go to, things where we, have, we may have to get a job or do all these things and we need to look our best. And it is because of you. It is because of you that these things come together for us. See, the sum is greater than its parts. And people don't understand that when we get to things in totality, it will take the person who gave us the haircut or gave us, you know, the hairstyle or put the makeup on or gave us what we needed to make sure our face was clear. Or we were in such pain that the masseuse came and worked that thing out. And now we can walk, you know, we walking upright, we feeling better. It's all of those little parts, right? And when you take the totality, totality and the sum of it, You'll see how God had his hand in each and every part and how that person using their God given ability blessed you had they been disobedient and not been, you know, able to put you in a chair or they did not work on their skill set to help you. You may have missed your moment because obviously if you two came together, then God had already set it up for you guys to come together and to make that thing come together beautifully. So. I want to give a little story and I'm led to give this and I'm not, I, I just want, it's just going to be very brief, but I just want to let you know, if you are not any of these skill sets and you just may be related to somebody or a friend of somebody, or you're just listening, I just want you to see how when God tells you to do something, you just have to do it because you really don't know how long a person will be here and you have to be obedient. I knew a beautiful young woman who recently passed away. Okay. 
And she was a makeup artist. And I don't even know if she knew while she was here. And excuse me, y'all, I'm just getting a little emotional. But she was she was really a stunning girl with no makeup. Like, I mean, literally, she was a makeup artist, but she didn't need makeup. She was just a super pretty girl without makeup, right? But, you know, when you saw what people said about her, I never read so many comments about people who were literally saying when she was doing their makeup, they didn't even know. Like, they, they didn't even say anything to her about what they were going through. But her making up their face and them looking at themselves after, it literally talked them off the ledge. It literally pulled them out of a funk. It literally was a game changer for them. Like, it changed them. It, 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 it just shifted things for them. And some people might say, oh, it's makeup. You don't need to wear that, whatever. Let me tell you, the devil is a liar. Because all of these unique occupations and all of these artistic, creative things that God has given these people in these particular skill sets to do, they are things that are used to help make people better. They're used to change lives. And it just really brought me to tears because the impact she made with doing makeup was amazing and you know with every fiber in your being that is what she was called to do i did not see a soul say anything about this girl derogatory while she was here and when she went on to heaven the the comments were consistent you know why because she did it in excellence and she did it with a pure heart and you know what you know she was pleasing god because his children were pleased and we're not talking about you know, you're just doing stuff because you're covering up. No, she was literally doing stuff for weddings and doing stuff for proms and dances for the life-changing, memorable things that we go through. And there were pe- she had people in her chair that never had makeup before. And she did that, and they were like, oh my God, I never thought I could look so beautiful. You know, so I just wanted to share that story because I just think it's imperative that people understand God could use anybody. And even if you're contemplating, if God is calling you to do this, he may or may not be calling you to do any of these professions, but you have to hear God for yourself. And if he is, trust him, y'all. Sometimes it just may not seem like the thing everybody else think you should be doing, but you know, it's something that you should be doing. I know somebody very close to me. I always knew since she was a little girl, she was going to kill it when it came to hair, fashion style. She was killing everybody. I knew it. And when she transitioned and got into the hairstyling game, she wanted the best to ever do it. And she's doing nothing but getting better and better and better. But you know what? She's a woman of God. And she said, God, I'm going to do this. When she did it, all of the doors opened up for her. She said, well, I don't know how I'm going to pay for this. God gave her a scholarship to cosmetology school. God gave her her own business the first year within months out. She had just had a baby. It, let me, listen to me. If God is calling you to do something where there is vision, there is provision. He gave her the provision. He gave her everything she needed to succeed. So I just want you to understand something. Whatever your occupation may be, if it's any one of these, listen today. Just know as you continue to develop your craft, you continue to take the time out to make sure first first and foremost, you give God the glory for giving you this skill set. You will continue to flourish. And if you're just starting and you haven't begun to flourish yet, believe you me, you can ask any of your fellow colleagues and those who have been in the game a little longer than you and they will tell you like I'm telling you, don't give up. Take the classes, take the trips, go to the shows, learn the new massaging techniques, learn how to, you know, the new styles with, uh, with the barbers, learn, you know, what the new clippers are, whatever, you know, I don't know in particular what those things are, but you do. So you know that these are the things in totality that make you great because all of these little things come together and you really provide excellence and incredible service for other people. So something that I also want to, you know, just touch on, and I'm also going to say this in the prayer, but if you think about it, guys, is two things that everyone that's either cosmetologist, hairstylist, makeup artist, masseuse, or barber, what they have in common. They're on their feet all day. Not only are they on on their feet all day, but they're always using their hand, which includes their wrists and their arms, right? And again, like I said, I'm going to pray about this. But I want you to just keep in mind 
everybody has a different profession and whatever it is, there's always something that we do in excess that we have to check. If it's somebody, you know, in the tech world, you know, they have to kind of fall back from the computer sometimes because sometimes it's pretty strenuous. But I find it very admirable with people who are in these positions. And you know what, y'all just dropped in my spirit. I should have added nail techs on here. So let me do that right now. If you know any nail techs, anybody who's into nails and, and really making them beautiful and glamorous. Now, although they sit when they do theirs, they still use their hands intensely. So I'm just bringing this up, guys, because I think sometimes when we get in the service provided, we're not thinking about, man, they're on their feet all day. You know, their legs could be hurting, their feet could be hurting, their body could be hurting. And it's literally because they want to beautify you. Of course, they're going to make their guap. They're going to make their money they need to. We all need to make our money. You know, because we, listen, we balance here when we're talking about Jesus. We are good old practical people. There was a story in the Bible where Jesus said, hey, go get the money out of that fish's mouth and go pay that bill. So even Jesus know what's up. We got to balance this thing out. So, yes, they're making their money, but y'all, they're on their feet to bless us. You know, they, they continuously, you know, standing up every day, using their hands, standing on their feet. You know, they're not resting doing this. They literally are giving their bodies, not just their mind and their creativity, but they are giving so much of themselves to help us. And again, I like to use my podcast to focus on things that we often overlook. You know, sometimes we just repeatedly talk about the same things and the same people and what they do. But I think it's nice sometimes to let people know that God still sees you. And yes, you do have a voice in what you believe in and what you're trusting God for. He is going to do it. And if you are in these occupations, just know something. God is going to continue to use you. And if you are on this podcast listening, it's because you want to operate in excellence. You know, and not only do you want to operate in excellence, but you want to continue to make God proud because you already know that God is the reason why you even have the skill set to begin with. Even if you you had a little semblance of it and you begin to work on it, he's always with you in whatever you do and wherever you go. So I just want you to be encouraged. And if you feel like at times people don't appreciate you, you know, sometimes you worry about the energy that comes in. Because another thing, too, when you're sitting there encountering all of those different people, it's a lot of spiritual battles people go with. And, they, you know, spirits do jump. So, you know, it is also important to be covered because people could sometimes project and bring their stuff to you. And, you know, you could take that on because, again, you could be tired. You could be standing there all day and then your attitude could change and you can get all upset and you don't even know why. So that's why it's important for these particular professions to be covered because your hands are literally touching somebody else's body and you literally want to make sure that you're covered and that when they are with you, they can see God in you. They can see just by your skill set, just by how you finesse what you do, just by how you take your time to show love and appreciation for what you do by providing them excellent service. You want to show them who God is and why you were called to do what you were called to do. So again, I just want to let you know, if you are listening, that, you know, the podcast is cool and I love it. And I'm so glad God has given me the chance to do it. But just make sure you, you still get filled up with the word for all of you with these particular occupations. You can always download the, the um, version Bible app. And, you know, if you're working and you just want to play it, you can play your Bible. You know, if you have a break in between time, you can you can play it. You can use different voices, different versions, all of these different things, and that can help add value. Again, I have another series called the Vision Hack series. So just go back and you can look at my episode log and you can hit the link below this podcast. You can download that free ebook because that is for you too. The Vision Hack series is for entrepreneurs and for people with unique callings and God-given visions. And I basically give five days worth of tips to break down how you can maximize your business and operate in excellence on the small levels. So make sure if, again, if today these aren't your occupations, if they are your occupations, Vision Hacks is for everybody, people who are trying to pursue something bigger than them, their God-given vision. So with all of that being said, guys, I would like to just jump right in on the prayer and the declarations. Again, make sure you get the ebook for this series as well. You'll get the scriptures. And again, I'm not speaking on the scriptures in this particular episode because I want to make sure that you guys um, get the declarations and we just get a nice little prayer in right quick just to send you on your way. So let's start off with 
uh, cosmetologist. So, you know, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come to you saying thank you. And Lord, we just decree and declare that our experts that are cosmetologists, we thank you, God, that they are able to apply and execute all of the things that they need to provide excellent service and aesthetic application. If it's down to skin skincare, development, or beauty products and services, whatever it is, God, we just pray in the name of Jesus that they do it in excellence. Lord, we just want to speak life over our hairstylists and our barbers, God. Most importantly, Father, we just want to pray, God, for their clientele. And this goes for each and every occupation, to be honest with you. We want to pray for their clientele. We pray for them. They have big tippers. We pray in the name of Jesus that they not only use their occupation and their skill set to bless others, but most importantly, to bless God. We rebuke carpal tunnel or anything that could try to prevent them from operating in excellence by hindering their wrists, their hands, their arms, their legs, their bodies, their feet. We speak strength to their legs. We speak strength to them as they stand and they provide top notch service in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for binding your creative Jesus with their genius, excuse me, with their mind and with their thoughts. Give them your creative genius, your creative thoughts. Give them what they need to execute unique styles, cuts, and game changing, innovating, unique ideas that help to create a wonderful experience for their clients. I pray in the name of Jesus that you continue to give them the ability to have the listening ear, to be encouragers, to be counselors, to operate as confidence builders. As each and every individual comes, they will be blessed and they will be touched and that you will give them the specific clientele that you have called them to work with. Lord, line them up strategically with everyone that they need, Lord. In addition to this, Father, we want to also call out the makeup artist, God. We thank you, God, that you have given them the ability to apply makeup as a life-changing, self-esteem-building experience. In addition to providing a service for the most memorable, most excellent times in people's lives, God. We thank you for giving them that capability in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we want to pray for our masseuses, God. We want to pray that you continue to bless their hands, God. And we pray, God, that their hands are used for healing, restoration, and imparting physical peace in the lives of each client, Father. We know, God, that what you do is not by mistake, it is not by happenstance, and it is not by coincidence. So I pray that each and every person who is called to do these types of services, God, that you will continue to give them wisdom. You will continue to give them exactly what they need, Father. And most importantly, God, we just pray, God, that you give them excellent quality ability to do excellent quality work. We thank you, God, that even as they give confidence, continue to build confidence in them, continue to protect them from vultures, to continue to protect them from people who have set out to try to destroy them, or who have tried to compete with them, Lord. We pray for a divine covering, God. You say in the book of Proverbs that you will make our enemies behave. So I pray in the name of Jesus, anyone that's trying to come against their business, anybody that's trying to come against their name, anybody that's trying to come against their ability, that you will make them behave in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord, if is there anything that they need to focus on to clean up or fix so that they can be even better in what they're doing, I pray if there are any scales or any confusion that you can remove it, remove it from their heart, from their eyes, from their minds, and give them what they need so that they can be in perfect position for you to execute everything that they need in their lives. Again, Father, we come against any spiritual battles. We come against anybody trying to invoke their energy that is not of you to try to throw them off from the great call that you have on their lives. So God, we love you and we appreciate you, Lord. And if there's anything I failed in asking for these individuals, Father, please do not fail in giving. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So guys, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me again today and much love and appreciation to our cosmetologists, barbers, hairstylists, makeup artists, and masseuses and nail techs and anybody else who uses their hands in a creative, unique way to provide a service. 
This podcast is to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. And I pray that God covers you and that you take your time. You don't have to learn your, your purpose overnight. It's just like Rome wasn't built in a day, neither was purpose. It must be cultivated. So be not weary and well-doing, whoever is listening to this. And I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be inspired. And I want you to kill those haircuts, rock those styles. I want you to use those magic hands and iron out those kinks in those bodies. I want you to work out the aesthetics to, your, to the best of your ability. And I want you to beat that face and put that makeup on like you've never done before. So God bless you. Remember, I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at I'm Wired to Inspire dot com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to the inspiration specialist dot life or I'm Wired to Inspire dot com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.